became really loud. Love this music. I wish I could play music. I wish I could play music, play instrument. Hearing stuff like this, I'm like, my God. Oh my God, is that a sloth as well? I love frogs and I love sloths. Yeah, it's when I tab out, it goes quieter. If I tab out, it goes a little lower. If you could choose one instrument to play, which one? The piano. I picked the piano. I think pianos are cool. Look around using the mouse. Move using WAST. Are we ever going to move away? We've been doing WAST for many years now. Ring, ring. Are we ever going to go with, like, Tefergaha? Hello, who is it? It's the supervisor. Hi, supervisor. Hey, how's life? Yeah, pretty good, I reckon. How are things with you? Me and the wife just got back from Indonesia. Ah, well, Selamat Datang Kembali. <laughs> that means welcome back, I think. <laughs> the man just throws out a little bit of... Alright, thanks. Uh, thanks. Anyway, what are you calling about? Oh, right. I have a case for you. Cool. It's a pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. I'm holding on. There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. Says he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. So get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. What a nice photo in the background. What's a ghost scientist? I don't know. Anyway... He hires some of them, right? <laughs> and they can't find anything. They've been on the island for two weeks. Whoa! The ghost is still at large. So, the head scientist there, a monkey, calls me up. They need help, and they want the greatest investigator I have. But he was busy, <laughs> so that's why I'm calling you. So I said to them, I'll send my best investigator. But Lobster Cop wasn't available. Fucking knew it. So I'm asking you, the second best investigator. I fully understand. Lobster Cop's abilities far outweigh my own. Yeah, but you're pretty good. So, are you up for it? I don't know. Sounds very scary. I'll have to be very brave. I believe in you, detective. That's just what I needed to hear. Thank you, Supervisor. I'll do it. Wahoo! <laughs> Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure thing. The basics are... There's a sloth who is hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around his island. Is he mocking Keanu? Who, me? Yeah! I'm thinking I'm back. There's a sloth who's hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around his island. He calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're stumped. It's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Why did you yell, oh, the haunted island like that? Because that's the title of this case. Fair enough. It's time for you to grab your magnifying glass and get going. 
See you later, supervisor. Good luck. Thanks. Sick. This frog detective guy's kind of a cutie. Ah, uh, yes. My trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve mysteries without it. Got your magnifying glass. Look through your magnifier with right click. Cool. Time to solve a mystery. Hey RNG God, thanks for the 53 months. Frog Detective Adventure. Programming by Thomas Bowker. Love the idea of the other people in his office wondering what he's doing and looking through the window to see my man playing Frog Detective. Hell yeah, man. Of course. I'm working. Everyone working just like the rest of them. Larry, mow the mouse mouse. Bernie, okay. Fresh X. And the rest. Case number one, the haunted island. Larry the lobster. What clip are you talking about, Snarky and Deep Blue? Hey, buddy. A copyrighted music? Hmm, maybe a man in a suit. Oh, he's here to welcome me. Mystery monkey. Ah, you finally made it. Thanks for coming. On. Oh, um... Uh, chat, we have to decide now. Am I doing a specific voice for each different character? This is important. Okay, well then the problem is I have to remember it. So the frog will sound like me. The monkey... Uh, my boss is John Wick. That's just how I'm going to try to remember it. Mystery monkey... Ah! Uh, it's done now. Ah! You finally made it! Thanks for coming on such short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. Wow, that's very kind of you. When you figured out who was behind the forest theft in Witchtown, I couldn't believe it. Okay, so I'm a little bit of a... I'm not that bad of a detective. If he knows of my craft. I thought nobody would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? <laughs> it's a funny game. What a good recommendation. Thanks, Belta. Oh, you've been following my blog posts. Yes, I'm Mystery Monkey 49 I comment all the time. I even made a funny joke once, and you responded. Of course, I remember. Hi, Mystery Monkey 49. Please, Mystery Monkey 49 is my online name. You can call me Mystery Monkey. Of course, can I ask you some questions about this case? Questions, yes. What would you like to know? Where to start? Who should I talk to first? You're talking to me already. <laughs> What? Okay, who should I... Who should I talk to second? Hmm... Larry, the tall red one. He always wants to meet new people. Although... I think mostly he wants new people to meet him. 
not so much the other way around. I'll check it out. Thanks. What would you like to know? I'm perplexed at this statement. He always likes to meet new people, although he really just wants new people to meet him. I get that. That's relatable. That's relatable. He's an introvert, but he wants people to see him. I like the lobster dude. From that alone, I like him. I think it's more like selfish, super egoistic. Yeah, yeah, we don't like that. A selfish shellfish? That was my joke. Everyone, can someone ban Twin? That way, it'll never come out. I took it from someone else. May I ask who the resident of this island is? Ah, no. Hey, listen, it's relatable. It doesn't mean that you're egotistical. It just means that maybe, just maybe, like a person can be an in introverted and shy, but still want to be seen and feel like, hey, I have like, I look good, you know, and I'm a good, like I want people, but maybe you're introverted and you don't want to see, but you want people to see, you, you know, it doesn't have to be bigger than that. It's still relatable. Ah, that'd be Martin. You can find him hiding in the forest. He thinks the ghost can't catch him there. Okay. Hmm, very interesting. I'll investigate. What would you like to know? Nothing right now. I think I'll come back later after some investigation. See you around. I have a missed call. Is it? Oh, oh, you know what? This is a delivery. <clears throat> Hold on. Very nice. Got a little bit of a delivery. I love being in an office. He's just gonna come, come stop by and drop it right outside. All right. <clears throat> um. All right. Well, if Larry's selfish. Hey. <laughs> hey, it, it's me, Larry. Hello. I did not do it. Huh? The noises are not coming for me. I didn't... I, Larry, did not make these spooky noises. That's, like, more suspicious somehow. <laughs> what? Are you even listening? I said I didn't make the noises. No, I heard. I just... I don't like being accused like this. I'm not accusing you. Oh, you're not? That's such a relief. Can I? Are you going to ask me questions? <laughs> yeah, ask me the, the questions, I mean. Okay, uh, the noises. What can you tell me about the no- Firstly, I'm not the one making them. Yep. But I know where they're coming from. Uh, what? They're coming from the cave in the forest. Hi, Flash. See you later. Why haven't you told anyone? Nobody listens to me. They say stuff like, Well, Larry, if you won't listen to us, we won't listen to you. Which is so weird. Because I do listen. Maybe they mean I'm a really great listener. So how do we get into the cave? Well, I need a few things. To get through there, 
You'll need some sort of explosive device. Is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, detective. None of this is safe. Anyway, I'll need a few things. I looked up an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, <laughs> and some pasta. Hello? I got a, uh, uh, humidifier. Although, I ordered two of them. Why did I only get one? Hey, do you throw up? Yeah, for me, I bestelled two of them here. Jaha, okej. Ja. Ja, men då så. Då väntar jag på den. Tack så mycket. Hej. Isn't it humid already? No, it's pretty dry, actually. Need it for the plants. Um, what's my voice? I need toothpaste. Yeah. Oh, so the normal explosive ingredients then. <laughs> Does he need pasta? Dude, this guy just likes pasta. Wants some gold as well. Just the standard explosive recipe. Yes, if you want to get into that cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. Ask me them. The questions, I mean. Mm. Ingredients. Can you list? Oh yeah, okay. Toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. Thanks. Ah, uh, alright, explosion. Let's make some dynamite. Not yet, detective. We still need... Toothpaste, <laughs> some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. Alright, we're done for now. Hey, Will Bill Kill, much love. I'm good, thanks. Oh, hello. Oh, fuck. Chat, how did this guy sound? He talked a little like this. This guy talked like this. And you... Hey, you're that detective, right? The one the mo the one that monkey keeps going on about. Yeah, we'll, we'll go a little southern. I'm really good at that. That's me. I'm so glad they finally brought someone else in. This guy has, like, an identity crisis. He's from the south, but this island is, like, he's been living here a few years, so he's losing his accent, so it's a little bit back and forth. Just to be clear as to, like, what you're about to hear here. I'm about to nail that kind of accent. I'm so glad they finally brought someone else in. I know nothing. 
I really shouldn't have taken this job. <clears throat> oh, so you're... Yeah. Why did you take it? I'll be honest. I thought it was a sacred... Well, where did the voice go? I thought it was a... I'm having... He's having an identity crisis. He's been here for two weeks. Yeah, and he's... He's struggling, okay? <laughs> he's... I'll be honest. I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you think that? The job listing said ghost scientist. That didn't seem like a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? One that only smart people could figure out. Like me. It still could be a cover. Maybe they're testing you. Oh no. You're right. I better look competent. I'm only joking. Sure. Can I ask you some questions about the case? What else do you want to know? About this hole. What do you know about the noises coming from this hole? I mean, I'm not great at this job. I'd be good at other jobs, I'm just letting you know. But, it does seem like the noises coming from this hole aren't from a natural creature. <laughs> He's really, I'm really trying to find him here. <laughs> okay. They seem otherworldly somehow. They have a weird and distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call, but only sometimes. Wow, that's a lot of good information, thanks. Yes, I'm very good at finding things out, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Bernie, I'm not a secret agent. <laughs> this guy's funny, dude. This game's great. Uh-huh. What else do you want to know? Secret agent. You mentioned you want- Oh, you mentioned you want to be a secret agent. Why? Ugh. Secret agents get the best stuff. Like, for example, you've got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. I'm not a secret agent. Sure you're not. Even if I can't be a secret agent, the things I'd give up for a magnifying glass, there's nothing I want more. Interesting. What else do you want to know? Yeah, nothing right now, man. I'll come back with some questions later. Suit yourself. Oh, pasta. Perfect. Yum. But it's not mine. What? So whose is it? Okay. <laughs> I can't get any further down. Hi! Howdy. What are you doing in there? Swimming. There's a storm. Eh, it's not raining yet. Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim in storms. Everyone keeps telling me to get out of the sea, but it's safer in here than it is up there. Why is that? No ghosts in the water. Ghosts can't swim. How do you know? Martin said. You don't look that happy in there. I guess I'm not. Sorry to hear it. Thanks. May I ask you why you're so sad? Well... It's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. I told you it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well... Go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. Oh, why? Boats are fast. I'm not fast. If I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast too. Nice. Right? I don't have any idea where to find one though. And even if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Is there anything you need to know? The ghost. What can you tell me about the ghost? <clears throat> Sorry, I had something in my throat. Well, not much, I guess. I heard noises coming from the holes around the island. They freaked me out so badly that I grabbed my floaty and got in here. How long have you been in the water for? Hmm, maybe two weeks. Whoa, are your feet wrinkly? Ew, I don't know. You should check. Maybe later. Is there anything you need to know? The magnet. Why did you- Why- <clears throat> Why did you want that magnet again? 
So I can attach it to the back of a boat and zoom along, obviously. All right. If it's Sweden's deal, I can give you this big shell in return. I thought it might be magnetic, but it's not. Why would you think a shell was magnetic? How was I supposed to know? What am I, a scientist? I... okay. All right. Hey, Fregel. Oh, holiday was nice, man. I'll show for the resub. RNG God as well. Welcome back. Welcome back. Cheers, guys. Who are you? Who are you? Okay. Some hole. Noises. Need some tomatoes for soup? Who is ghosts? <laughs> I'm not qualified. Oh, a magnet. This might come in handy. <laughs> Got a magnet. Always with the questioning. Is there anything you need to know? The magnet. I brought you a magnet. What? Like... A real one? Are you for real? Yeah. This is a dream come true. Thank you so much. No problem. I'm smiling. In return, I'll give you this big shell. I don't need it anyway. Great, thanks. Wow, a real magnet. Got a shell. All right. So what do we do with the shell? Does this guy need a shell? Ah, fuck. More questions? I can't remember his voice. Ask me them. The questions, I mean. Was that it? <laughs> and you know the ingredients for toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold. And some pasta. Thanks. I'm good right now until I find your voice. <laughs> Everyone here is kind of evolving as we go, guys. Remember, do not split up when searching for ghosts like in Scooby-Doo. Who took my sunglasses? Give back. Buy me. This is a woman, I think. Noodle. Hey! How's it hanging? Eh, fine, I guess. Bored, mostly. Bored? That's suspicious. Suspicious? Why? I hate this voice. Surely you can't just say I'm suspicious. There's no rule against it. I'm not being suspicious at all. <laughs> I guess not. Sorry for calling you suspicious. That's okay. Why are you bored? Isn't hunting ghosts supposed to be exciting? For the first week, sure. But now? Now, though, I've been at this post the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. Gross. I know. You mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask away. What is that emote? seen that before. If I have, I don't remember. Your wool. Why are you shedding so much? I haven't had a trim in ages. It's so yuck. Split ends everywhere. I'm usually getting cut once a week, but it's been two weeks now. Yuck. It's so gross. It's totally fine. Thanks for trying to spare my feelings, but there's wool everywhere. I think everyone is grossed out by it. Oh, surely that's not true. Eh, maybe not. But it feels true in my heart. I think most people like wool. It's used for mu so much stuff. Like what? My jumper is made out of wool. Ha, <laughs> are you for real? Yeah. That's weird. It's weird that you're wearing my hair. Wool is pretty gross. That's why I keep mine short. I don't think wool is gross at all. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Okay, but what if I wore a coat made of your slime? What? You? Gross, right? Sure, but slime is kind of gross anyway. And I'm saying that as someone who is very slime slimy. 
Wool is worn by most people. This is the first time I've heard of someone wearing wool. I think that makes you the weird one. Plus, I'm pretty sure the shirt you're wearing is wool. What? <laughs> this is a fun game, dude. I'm so entertained. I'm wearing another sheep's hair? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Gross. I'm happy to take your wool away from you if you'd like. I mean, your own wool, not your shirt. Uh, yes, please. But you'll need something to clean it up with. Like a broom or like fire. Cool, okay. I probably won't use fire. Okay. okay. Can't believe I'm wearing wool. What if it's Barney's? Mind if I ask more questions? Ask away! This hole. What can you tell me about this hole? I hate this hole. Why? It never does anything. It's a hole. I'm a ghost scientist. I want to see ghosts, not holes. Maybe the ghost is in the hole. Have you looked? I've looked. No ghosts in there. It's a pretty deep hole, but gets smaller as you go down. So maybe there's a ghost further down? Do you hear any ghost noises coming from the hole? Sometimes. But not as many as Bernie and Larry's hole. Now that's a noisy hole. I wish I could hang out there. Who's stopping you? The boss. Who's the boss? I... Don't know. Maybe Mystery Monkey? Maybe? Maybe not. Okay. Mind if I ask you some more questions? Ask away. Wait, are alerts on? Are there sounds, Marcinetic? Uh, thanks, Arm to Do you know when we'll be finishing Frank Stone? Tomorrow. No sound, but it still showed bottom right. Oh yeah, that's that's fine. Has that not always been the case? Science line, don't go in. Okay. What do we have here? Alright. Ah oh, fuck chat. Um I'm just stressed about this voice thing now. It's fine. Ah! Stop right there! Why? My shells! Don't step on my shells! Oh, I won't. We can't be sure of that. I guess not. They're very fragile and small. Aren't we all? I guess. Please be careful. Okay. Are you still gonna stand like that? Yeah! <laughs> Why? I'm alarmed. I'm on alert. I am. Protecting my shells. From dangerous frog feet. Wow. Sorry. I'm just worked up about my shells. I don't mean to be rude, but... What shells? I can't see any shells. That's because... They're small. How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass. Wow. Sorry, but it's the truth. I had to get this one specially made for my tiny shells. Fine. Can I ask you some questions now? Ask me questions. Just be careful! That cave. You know anything about it? Huh? What? No. I'm not even sure it's a cave. Just looks like a pile of rocks, if you ask me. It's a cave, for sure. Well, I guess we'll just agree to disagree. It's literally a confirmed cave. Potato, potato. Nobody pronounces it potato. I do. Really? Yeah. Fair enough. Ask me questions. Just be careful. Why don't you just get a bigger shell? Ha! <laughs> you fool! Hey, sorry. It's just that there's not many big shells around here. If I could get one, sure. This magnifying glass would be useless to me. But I don't see a big shell around here. Do you? Hmm. Ask me questions, just be careful. I happen to have a big shell. 
I have a big shell if you want it. What? How? It's a long story. Oh, in that case, I don't care. I hate stories. Okay. Anyway, I totally want that shell. Can I swap you for it? I have this magnifying glass to look at the tiny shells, but I won't need it now that I have this big shell. Cool, thanks. You're still standing weird. I'm still on alert. Here's the magnifying glass. Love this guy. This guy's goofy. Okay. Hi. Hello. Are you still are you okay? Yes. Are you sure? Well, yeah, you just never talked to a detective before. I've heard so many nice things about you. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, don't want to be embarrassing. If I am embarrassing, that would be very bad. <laughs> <laughs> we did the same voice for this guy. Oh, have you played this game as well, Beata? <laughs> you did the same voice? He really has that kind of aura, doesn't he? You're not embarrassing. That's very good news. I mean, the conversation isn't over. There's still time. I have to be careful. Oh? Well, is it okay if I ask some questions? You have some questions? Questions, yes. You seem very nervous. May I ask why? Eh, uh, because of the detective thing I told you. Uh... I am afraid of detectives. Maybe when I was a kid, I had a bad dream about a detective? Something like that. I don't know. Sorry to hear about that dream. What? Oh, I didn't actually have a dream about that. So why are you so afraid of me? Fine! You've worn me down. Damn, you're extremely dream detective skills i'm nervous because of mystery monkey mystery monkey is a huge fan of your blog so i don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you i just think mystery monkey is super neat and i don't want to be embarrassing in case i mess everything up oh well is there anything i can do to help Hmm. There's a dance cap. <laughs> a dance competition coming up tomorrow. I want to compete and show Mystery Monkey that I'm really good at dancing. But I don't know what style of dance will impress them. Could you ask Mystery Monkey and find out? I can give you this mouse wash mouth wash in return. Oh, don't I? Wait, what did I need? I need a toothpaste for the bomb. Sure thing, I'll do my best. Questions, yes. The ghost. What can you tell me? <laughs> Excuse me. What can you tell me about the ghost? There's a ghost? <laughs> Aren't you a ghost scientist? Oh. Ghost scientist. Not toast scientist? That makes so much more sense. You thought you were a toast scientist. Yeah. I only took the job because, you know. Uh. You know. Because you like toast. Yeah. What have you been doing this whole time? Not thinking about ghosts, that's for sure. <laughs> How spooky. So you haven't heard any weird noises? Oh, for sure. Heaps of weird noises. I don't think they're coming from a ghost, though. What makes you say that? I haven't seen anything floating around as if a ghost was holding it. That happens in the movies. I'll keep an eye out, though. Sure thing. Questions, yes. That bottle. What's in that bottle next to you? Oh, that's a mouthwash. That's my mouth. Mouthwash, mouthwash. 
I'm happy to give it to you if you can find out what type of dance style Mystery Monkey likes the best. Okay, I'll see you later. Alright, one guy left. Ooh, he seems nervous. Oh, he's the one hiding in the forest. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the frog detective here from the f agency. Oh, okay. Don't sneak up on me like that. I was visible for the entire approach. Well, fine. I guess I just don't look... S uh, I guess just don't look so spooky. Okay, I'll do my best. Sorry, I'm so cranky. I haven't slept in two weeks. I'm Martin, king of the island. You're a king? Well, when I got here, there was nobody else on the island except for me and Finley. So I thought it was fine to declare myself king. Finley? I don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley mostly cares about the dance competition. No, I meant to ask, who's Finley? Oh, okay then. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Go ahead. Got questions for me? Who the fuck is Finley? You mentioned your friend Finley. Who's that? Finley lives on a nearby island and comes to visit every few days. The last time I saw Finley, she was talking about the song she wanted to, da uh, to dance to for the competition. Her vo moves were pretty amazing. Not like me. She'll probably win. I haven't seen her in a while, but she's probably still prepping for the competition. It's tomorrow. Not that I'll be able to compete. What with this whole spooky situation going on? <sighs> Got questions for me? Dance competition. These will ask. You mentioned a dance competition. Can you tell me a bit more? It's tomorrow. Anything else? Best dancer wins. Okay. Alright, about the noises. Can you tell me about the noises and where they're coming from? I'm not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. How do you know for sure? I have a book about ghosts. It's called The Ghost Guide. Foolproof ways to detect a spirit. I read most of it. Anyway, in the book, it says that most ghosts can't be seen. And get this, I haven't seen a single ghost yet. The proof is all there. Got questions for me? Your nerves. You seem super nervous. Is there anything I can do to help? It's just a ghost getting me down. I haven't been able to sleep. I'm kind of annoyed too, because I usually love hearing stories about ghosts. I read all about them on the cyberweb.com. But now, I'm living one. I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of things. Bottom of the grave, more like. What? That made more sense in my head. I guess I mean like, we'll probably die before the mystery is solved. That's very dark. Dark, just like the conclusion to this tale. Sorry if I'm being dramatic. You know, I'm a good detective. You know I'm a good detective, right? I've solved every case I've taken on. Except the mystery of how to put a hat on. My head is a strange shape. It really is. The point is, you're safe and I'm going to find the culprit. The best thing you can do is sit and relax. Everything will be okay. I don't feel okay. I'm finding it really hard to calm down. I understand, ghosts are scary, but it might not be a ghost. You really think it's not a ghost? I don't know for sure. Oh, let's try a visualization exercise. What's a vis... visu... lisishen exorc exorcism? It's a thing where we pretend. Imagine you're on a beach surrounded by calming waves. You can feel the cool breeze on your face. The waves slowly move in and then out. It is a safe beach. What beach is it? This beach. This isn't a safe beach. There's a ghost here. No, the ghost is on holiday. Oh, okay. Where is it? On a road trip. Cool. Can we visualize that we're on a road trip instead? 
but the ghost is on the road trip. Great point. Continue. Anyway, the waves are coming in and out slowly. There's nothing to worry about. No ghosts around at all. The ghost is on a road trip. Yep, nothing to fear. A nice sandy beach. Just me and the ocean. How do you feel? So relaxed. Great, me too. Thanks so much, detective. That's okay. I want to give you something as thanks. Perhaps a piece of my crown. Got a chunk of pure gold. Ooh, nice. I had the same voice for this guy too. Really? <laughs> that's funny. Well, that's so kind. It's really heavy. It's made of pure gold. Why? I like gold. Okay. Got questions for me? Not at the moment. Sorry, I see this sub. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, Arm Tidrim, how are you, man? I read you earlier. Thanks again for the resub. Uh, Jamie K, 26 months. Happy 26. Singularity with 44. Thanks very much. And Mazo, thank you for subscribing. Enjoy your stay, buddy. Oh, yeah, I got a better. Can I see the small shells now? No? Okay. I think you're a little sus. You're too innocent, in my opinion. Now, what are the odds that I remember all these voices I've created for everyone? Fuck. Okay. I'm gonna talk to you. More questions? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. uh. Ask me them. The questions, I mean. I got ingredients. Can you give me the list of ingredients for the expo- Toothpaste? Some wool. A chunk of pure gold. And some pasta. Thanks. But I have a chunk of- Explosion. Oh, let's make some dynamite. You're on the right track, but we still need more. Toothpaste. Some oil. Pasta. If you get those things, we can get cooking. Uh, did I not... Uh, wait, how did I get wool? Do I need scissors, maybe? Mouse voice. Let's see if... Uh, Belta says we made the same voice. You seem very nervous. May I ask why? Uh... Because of the detective thing I told you. Um, <laughs> am it's I, the are same. you afraid of detectives? Maybe <laughs> when I was a kid I had a bad dream about a detective. Oh, that's funny. A broom. Right, yeah, he wanted a broom. Howdy. Hello. Are you the, uh... Yep. Great. You brought my toothpaste shipment? Huh? Uh... No, I'm the detective. Oh, okay. Can I call you D-Tech? <laughs> the way they're sad. Yes. <laughs> nice. I have some questions, is that okay? Take it away, D-Tech. Clothes. Why aren't you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? It's my day off. I've been working so hard for the last two weeks. It's very important to take a break and get some sun. You're right. Uh, not about the sun. About taking the day off. Yeah. I didn't pick a great day for it. Sorry to question you on your day day off. Take it away, D-Tech. 
I hope you don't mind me saying, but you have wonderful teeth. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad someone finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? With Dr. Tight Smile's 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for teeth, of course. Dr. Tight Smile's 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for teeth? I get a shipment here every three days. I go through the stuff so quickly. I'm down to my last tube. Wow, where can I get some of my own? Do... Do you have teeth? Um, well, I could give you my tube, but I would need something else to keep my mouth fresh. I'll think about it. Can I ask you some more questions? Take it away, D-Tech. Uh, so he wants the mouthwash. And in order to get the mouthwash, see it, D-Tech. Uh, what did, uh, little, uh, Tiny Mouse need for mouthwash? I remember what he needed. If you can find out what type of dance style Mystery Monkey likes the best. Right, okay, let me go ask him. No, no, that wasn't it. <laughs> what? What would you like to know? It's a little bit of a march, yeah. Hey, so, uh, you, uh, you like dancing and, um, dance styles? <clears throat> I don't understand. I don't under. Mm. I don't. I don't understand. Fuck, man. This was ages ago. This was a whole 45 minutes ago. I don't understand. Uh, I like dancing a lot. If that's what you're asking. Fuck, man. I like dancing a lot. If that's what you're asking. He's evolved. Fuck it. Yeah, kind of. What type of dancing do you like the best? Well... I like I have basically only have one move. Yeah, but like, uh, if you saw someone dancing, in what scenario would you most likely be like, "This is such a great dance"? What? 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 I guess what I'm trying to ask is, what dance style do you like the best? Oh, um, hmm. I think uh, break dancing is so neat. If I saw someone breakdancing, wow, I would soon, I would even go so far to say, if I saw someone breakdance, I would be so deeply impressed that I would want to hang out with them a lot, at all times, forever. That's great. Sorry for such a strange question. That's okay. I'm sure it's important to the case. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye. Got a monkey fact. Martin voice. Oh yeah, you said we had the same voice for this guy. Not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. I don't even remember. Oh yeah, it was a How nervous. How do you know for sure? I have a book about ghosts. <laughs> yeah, you're it's just as unsure. Guide, My God. To take the spirit. <laughs> what are the odds? Right, so now I know that he likes break dancing. So now you. You have some questions? Questions, yes. Uh, dance styles. Hey, I talked to Mystery Monkey. Oh my gosh. Did you mention me? What did Mystery Monkey say? Does Mystery Monkey hate me? Oh, I'm, I'm so embarrassing. I didn't mention you. <laughs> Phew. 
Uh, Mystery Monkey likes break dancing the best. Break dancing? I think I can do that. I gotta start practicing now, though. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, here's the mouthwash before I forget. Cheers. Alright, we got mouthwash. Is he about to start break dancing here? Okay, hey, good work, man. So now I have the mouthwash for you. Back for questions. Take it away, D Tech. Morning, Katie. Well, good afternoon. I have some mouthwash for you. Amazing. <clears throat> Thanks. Maybe I'll use your uh, toothpaste. I almost forgot. Here you go, D Tech. Okay. And now I have toothpaste. Now I need this pasta. The mystery of the pasta. Yum, but it's not mine. We also need a broom for the wool. This is fun, but I gotta get back to work. <laughs> okay. Um. I think I've missed something. What happens if I try to go in here? Nothing. Should have listened to the sign. So you want a broom for your wool? Can I ask you? Maybe now that I've touched the pasta, I can ask you about it. This guy was like John Wick, wasn't he? With a southern twist. Questions. <clears throat> yeah, I'm thinking I'm... Did I not give this guy a southern twist? Yeah, who was the John Wick? I swear I gave someone a John Wick voice. Maybe that wasn't this guy. Who the fuck was John Wick? No, this guy was just a bit... I believe y'all have a... Oh, that was uh, my boss, yeah. Um, what else? What else do you want to know? This guy has a bit of an identity crisis. Magnifying glass. I have a spare magnifying glass if you're interested. Interested? Are you kidding me? There's very little, not literally nothing I want more. Here you go. This is the best day ever. All my dreams are coming true. Is there anything else I can do to repay you? Do you need any help with your secret agent business? Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine. I could give you my lunch. Oh, what's cooking? Pasta, as always. If there's one thing I love apart from the thrill of secrecy, it's pasta. Anyway, my appetite is satiated, 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 satiated from the deliciousness of this magnifying glass. That's a weird way to word that. Whatever. <laughs> Would you like the pasta? Heck yeah! All yours! Satchited? Sashited. Sashiated. Sashated. Sautéed? Okay. <laughs> Alright, we just need a broom now. Satiated. Yo! Who the hell was that? <gasps> a broom! Oh, a broom! Oh right, I have to go get the wool. Woman. I may not have all the answers, but go ahead. 
Ask away. Who's your favorite character? The tiny mouse dude. Hey, I got that broom. Ready to clean? Yes, amazing. Thanks, detective. Can I keep this broom? Absolutely. Can I keep your wool? <laughs> it's still weird. But yeah, knock yourself out. What? I mean, like, take all the wool you want. Not physically knock yourself out. Phew. Okay. So we got the explosive ingredients. Ah, more questions? Ask me them. The questions, I mean. I, I need to write notes for my... What do I have, like nine different voices going? I don't remember who I, what I had for this guy. That was so early on. Um, nasal raspy voice. Nasal... Ah, deep wet. Ask, ask me them. Deep wet? He was like a nerd? Ask me them. The questions, I mean. No. We need a clip. This is really important. Gollum. Why, you're all going different directions. Deep wet. Nasally. <laughs> Gollum. What the fuck is deep wet? Quieter wants people to see him. Those ingredients. I'll do my best. Ask me them. The questions, I mean. Mm. Ingredients. That's deep Can you list? Oh yeah, okay. Toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. Thanks. Ah, uh, alright, explosion. Let's make some dynamite. Not yet, detective. We still need... Toothpaste, <laughs> some wool. Oh, he's quite excited. Let's make some dynamite. Let's see. Wow! You got everything! Yep. Amazing. Shall we make some dynamite? Yes. Let's do it. Nice! I'll cook up some dynamite, and we can get exploding, baby! Well, this is it. Yep. Time to blow this cave up. Larry, explosives are dangerous. Sorry. Time to carefully blow this cave up. Thanks. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too. And I'm not even coming into the cave. You're... you're not? I don't like dark spaces. I'm a sunny boy, baby. I'm not a baby. Sorry. Anyway, good luck. Look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. Mr. Rabio. Rabio? Thanks for subscribing, buddy. Ooh, we're going in.
Uh, Barb, thanks for 50 months. First time subbing without Prime. Finally got a job in the games industry. Thank you for being all, being you all these years. Oh, congrats. You must be over the moon. Thanks for the 50 months. Congratulations. Espelix, seven months. Just defended my thesis. Now I'm here to chill. Good work. How did it go? What was your thesis about? Why slavery belongs in the <laughs> 21st century. <laughs> I think this is the guy who lives on another island. Oh, hi. Who are you? Are you a ghost? <laughs> what? I don't think so. Are you sure? Hmm. Yep. That's great. You're not wrong. So, uh, who are you? Finlay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm giving this guy. Who are you? The detective. Audi. Wait a minute. Finlay. I know that name. I'm pretty well known around local dance circles. Twirl your hair a little bit while you do her voice. To really get into character. <laughs> pretty well known around... I'm pretty well known around uh, local dance circles. That's not it. Oh! You're Martin's friend. Yeah. What are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition. It's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Uh, hmm. Jeez, like two weeks, I guess. I didn't even realize. <laughs> <laughs> no, this has to be. <laughs> Wait, two weeks? Have you seen any ghosts around? <laughs> nah, just me down here. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why not? He thinks every dark space is haunted. He reads all those ghost books and thinks there's a ghost in every crevice. It's good for me though. Perfect spot to train. You've been dancing for two weeks straight. Yeah. Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps. And these mushrooms are super nutritious. Gross. Mushrooms are disgusting. That's your opinion, detective? No, it's a fact. Okay. Anyway, Martin's been super spooked out because he's been hearing weird noises all over the island. Any idea what the noises could be? Hmm. I've been listening to my radio while dancing. This cave has a lot of holes. The sound from your radio could easily travel up to the surface. I bet it would sound super warped too. You know you've been trapped in here, right? The cave has been blocked off by rocks. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, you could have died. <laughs> then I'd actually be a ghost. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Haha! <laughs> anyway, we should head back up to the island. Yep. Finley? Hi, Martin. Hi. Hey. Hi. What are you doing here? I was in the cave. You? What? How did you get in? It's been sealed up for weeks. Two weeks to be exact. Wait a minute. As it, as it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave all along. 
She was so wrapped up in practicing, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. The noise from her radio carried up to the surface and sounded super spooky. But my ghost books, I was so sure it was a ghost. Nope, just me. Just goes to show you should never trust books. <laughs> That's the lesson to be learned from this. Always use the internet instead. Haha, <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> yeah. Books are, without exception, factually inaccurate. Yep. The fuck? Hi there, apologies for the interruption. I hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. While I agree with the detective on most issues, there are contexts in which books can be very useful and informative. It's important to check the validity of the author's sources and to check the book is up to date. The internet can also be a useful place to find information, but make sure you're getting your information from a trusted source, trusted site. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game. So anyway, as I was saying, books have no place in our society. Sure thing, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening my eyes to the uselessness of books. You're very welcome. So, just to be clear, you were practicing for the competition this whole time? Yep. I'm in to win it. I'm still not entirely sure what this dance competition involves. Dance competition. Best dancer wins. Who else is competing? Hmm. That's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget Mo the Mouse. Who? One of the ghost scientists. The what? Don't worry about it. I think we need more entrance. I know a few hardworking friends who could use a good boogie. But they won't be here tomorrow. Well, let's move the competition to today. Yeah. 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 Before we dance, I just want to say, thanks for solving the mystery, Detective. No problem at all. I had a lot of help. Larry figured out where the noises were coming from. Larry... Is that the lobster, the one that talks over everybody? Yep. Well, I'll give my thanks to Larry too. So, shall we boogie? Let's go. Fuck man, Mo hasn't had enough time to break things. Oh. Like most of the game was you remembering the voices you gave them. Yeah. It's just voice actor simulator. Okay, I think we've practiced enough. Wait a minute. Who's judging? I'll do it. Ooh, okay. Nice. Good moves. Not so sure about this one. Oh, yeah, he's got it. No, he's got it. He's doing good. Okay, yeah. Standard. Love it. Love it. Yeah, I mean, considering she... Finley, um... Oh, no, here we go. Okay, yeah. this take the most for the developer <laughs> the most time I would love for everyone to be this basic and then Mo 
just like comes out with the biggest fucking beast breakdowns you've ever seen. Pick the winner. Pick the winner. When will this game end? <laughs> A little bit later. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I help you? Detective. Supervisor. Great work on the Haunted Island mystery. Thank you. I tried really hard. I don't even think Lobster Cop could have solved that one. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cop. You're probably right. Anyway, I saw you busted a groove at the dance competition. Yeah, where did you see that? It was on TV. Every channel. Every channel? In HD. Cool. I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Mostly the calls were about your dancing. But I did get one call about a case. Have you heard of Warlock Woods? I haven't. Well, there's something very strange going on there. They need our best investigator on the on the job. Lobster Cop wasn't available? Nah. Can you handle another case, detective? I can handle anything. The detective will return in. The case of the invisible wizard. a really good game. I like that one. That was a lot of fun. Okay, this is the end, right? I am very warm. Boo, 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 boo. Second one right now. We're not doing one per morning stream. Nine days when you're gonna continue Frank Stone. I think Flash said he's okay. He's gonna take today off, but I think he said uh, we could play it tomorrow. Really good um, morning stream game. I like that. Really good suggestion. How many games are there? So there's three. When did these come out? This one came out 2018. The case of the invisible wizard. Cool. Chat, you want you know what I want to watch actually? <laughs> 